Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf and welcome back to another mobile classics video. Today I'll be playing some ground effect. Now many of you guys have probably never heard of this game. Um, it was released in 2009. Yeah, 10 years ago uh, on the iOS app store. Unfortunately, it was never released on Android as far as I know. Um, so yeah, it was released way back then on, uh, on iOS and uh, yeah, I mean it is one of the oldest games I've ever played and in fact um, I made a video on this game a couple years ago and the point of that video was just to showcase this game because it is actually in fact the first iOS game that I have ever played ever. Um, I played this on a very old iPod Touch um, when I first got it. This was the first game that I downloaded and played. And uh, I just wanted to make another video on this game, in, uh, you know, in order to put it in my mobile classics series. Uh, but I just re-downloaded it on my iPhone 5S that I have here. And uh, I don't have anything unlocked or anything like that. So we're just going to play a bit. I don't plan on making this video too long. Um, but I did want to make this video to show you guys in case some of you haven't seen this game before. And this truly is a mobile classic because it is one of the first games to come out on iOS with... 3D graphics and you know uh, actual 3D environments and whatnot. So it does use the accelerometer to control, and it will look a bit weird. That's because I'm I have to stretch out the video because there are some black bars on the sides because it actually was never updated to fit the iPhone 5 screens as far as I know. But right now we're just doing the first uh, track here, which is just literally an oval, and then we'll go on to more complicated tracks. Um, they shouldn't take too long, and I just wanted to kind of chit chat with you guys. Um, about this game and about you know classic mobile games and whatnot because uh, you know uh, this was the first um, mobile game that I've ever played at least on on iOS and um, it was very interesting because I you know when I first got my iPod touch the game that I saw that kind of drew me in was ironically I saw someone else playing Angry Birds and not the fact that it kind of pulled me in that you know was that game specifically but just the fact that on an iPod Touch, they were playing games, and I was so confused. Um, and so that's kind of where I started, you know, wanting to get an iOS device at least. I had Nintendo DSs and whatnot, um, so you know that was never. I, I was never not a mobile gamer, I guess you could say. Um, but what drew me into iOS was games such as Angry Birds, and then I started to see games like Asphalt. And uh, well, first I, I saw this game uh, on the App Store when I was browsing it as soon as I got my old iPod Touch. And this game kind of blew my mind because at the uh, at that point, 3D games were not really a thing uh, because they were too graphically intensive. But somehow the developers of this game managed to well make this game <laughs> and put it on uh, an iOS device. And you guys see down there it says saving score. That is open faint, and that was a kind of multiplayer like third party thing that people put in their games before uh, Game Center and Facebook and you know just multiplayer in general ever took off uh, open faint was kind of the original game center as you can if you can kind of put it that way before game center even was really a thing and i don't know it just brings back a lot of nostalgia and whatnot just seeing that logo and unfortunately i think it's all offline now you can't access it anymore or whatever um but yeah so that was kind of interesting most of the multiplayer components to mobile games before game center came out were all done by the developers or by open faint um, by you know implementing that open faint uh, system. Oh, I have to go this way. Whoopsie. There we go. Save that one. There we go. And uh, so yeah, it was just a really weird time. Uh, there was nothing that was really streamlined back in the day. I mean, the only thing that was really normal for mobile games back in like 2009 was the whole concept of one version being a paid version and another version of the game being a light version. Uh, and I honestly I love that system because the light version was always kind of a demo version and if you liked it You could buy the full game uh, You know without having advertisements whether that was how they the, you know The developers made their money was through advertisements on the light game or buying the full game without advertisements um, Or just making the light game have less content than the full game and I always like that system You guys know me. I, I've never been a, a fan of the freemium system that Games like Asphalt 9 and um, Modern Combat Versus and those types of games have have really built. Um, like I said, I you know I try and stay away from games that have things like pay to win and energy systems, but unfortunately, like that's all over the place now. 
And back in the day, you know, like these games, this game, like, um, you know, back in 2009, I mean, the only thing you did when you got a game is you just played the game. You never worried about currency or anything like that. Like in this game, all the camos for the these vehicles um, are are already unlocked. And the only thing you need to progress and are, you know, is just the tracks and just unlocking. And, you know, that made it so you didn't have everything at once. But at the same time, it, it gave you a good progression system. It wasn't anything like worrying about three different types of currencies like you do in Asphalt. In fact, I, there are probably more. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so mobile games back in the day were just so simple and fun. And that's the point of this video is to showcase that games don't have to be overly complicated. Um, one of the best parts about this game is just the atmosphere, the ambiance, and, and how the soundtrack come together to make a really good and just soothing experience of just racing around whatever islands these are, wherever they are, it doesn't even matter. And you can see the skybox looks beautiful and, and just uh, there's nothing complicated going on. I mean, there are some AI that you pass, uh, but they're not aggressive. They're not anything like that. You know, you're not try harding i guess is the best word you're not doing any of that in this game you're just having a good time racing around you know these uh these islands and whatnot oh i missed that gate i don't know how i did i haven't played this in a while obviously i mean it's been a while since i made that other video on this game uh, but i think i'll end this video after this race because obviously to you guys it, it might be a bit boring um but for me it's more of a soothing experience um, now this game, I believe the light version is still on the App Store if you've downloaded it. Um, if you have an older device, like a device that's below iOS 10, you might be able to download it if you haven't purchased it. But as far as I know, you have to have purchased this game in order to download it again. I saw it on my computer on the iTunes App Store, like on the website. So I don't know if that means you can still download it if you open it up on an iPhone or iPad or whatever that's below iOS 10. But if you manage to find it, you should be able to find the light version, uh, which is free. And I highly recommend checking it out just to see like where mobile games have come in the past 10 years. I mean, it's pretty crazy that, um, you know, not only was this game looking like this back in 2009, but just how far games have come since that. I mean, we've got graphically intensive games like Asphalt 8 and 9 and, and those types of racing games. But I mean, honestly, it, 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 it has been such a big jump since 2009 in terms of graphics, but also um, it's just amazing to, to look back and see what was capable back uh, 10 years ago and obviously how far we've come. So I'll go ahead and finish up this race here. And I just wanted to make this quick mobile classics video uh, talking about this game uh, because I think it's a very nice common game and it just kind of shows how far we've come uh, as mobile gamers from simple, just kind of soothing games like this to very complicated. I mean, even esports titles like, well, I guess if you want to include Asphalt 9 as an esport, but I guess you could. Um, so yeah, you know, we'll go ahead and finish up this race here. And uh, well, yeah, that's really it. That's all I wanted to uh, do for this video is just kind of show you guys what mobile games were like in 2009 in my first uh, iOS game personally and again if you want to download this game I highly recommend you go ahead and try to it's a very fun and calming relaxing game and um, yeah the soundtrack is great the graphics look really good obviously for the time it was 10 years ago um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next video